So, as I said in one of my posts on Instagram the other day, last week I think, I will be shouting out people who leave relevant comments. Last week on my post, Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosa and this is Honestly Rosa. So, I'm back home. I'm feeling a lot better. I have been for a few walks with Jack now. I'm currently enjoying one right now. I will show you my breakfast, what I made. So, for this smoothie, I am using one banana, some mixed berries, and some blueberries too. They were frozen. So I'm just going to break up the banana, chop it up, put it in the food processor, and then a scoop for the protein powder. This is just some generic protein powder that I've had sitting around for ages that I need to use up. Um, I won't say brand name. Then add in the blueberries and the mixed berries. They're all frozen, so they're a bit soggy now. And then some Alpro soy yogurt. I prefer the Greek style one. And then a little bit of maple syrup because I fancy some sweetness. Then whiz it all up. To top, I'm adding some oats, just some dried oats, and a mixture of seeds, and this is the finished thing. I would prefer to have a nice cream, but we don't have a freezer currently, so I just made a smoothie bowl. But it was nice and creamy and tasty, and um, just what I needed to give me some energy. Wash your bowl up straight after, good tip. Shout out to Charlie. Charlie left the comment, my king size bed at home feels so much better. And that was in response to the question, what aspect of being back home, if you are back home, um, is actually better than you thought it'd be. So yeah, I agree, your king size bed sounds amazing. I finally have my double bed um, after sleeping for ages on an uncomfortable single bed. So I agree with that. off out on a nice walk now. I've been spending these last few days sitting in the sun like I'm on holiday. Um, again, aware, I'm very lucky about it. But um, I'm enjoying some sunshine and relaxing. Got a bit of time already. Um, that's just the way my skin goes apparently. But yeah, um, today I finally managed to sit down and do a bit of planning. Um, I'm looking at the essay questions that I'm going to be picking. Although all our assessments have been changed from uh, summatives to formatives, which is great in our first year. It means I don't have to worry about getting a good grade. Um, as I know I've already passed from um, summatives I did early on in the year. Um, which is good, less stress, um, whereas now I actually think I want to get on and I still want to do the formatives because otherwise it's going to be a full six, seven months of no education and then back into year two, which I assume is going to be quite difficult. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some of that. Um, I know one of them hasn't been released yet, I don't think, the questions hasn't, so... I'm going to focus on one, do that one, get that one out of the way, go on to the next. I'm going to do it that way as I have the time. And they're all due in around the same time, so I can at least get them done for them. Um, I need to do my manifesto for the whole club committee. I'm going up for publicity secretary next year. As you can probably imagine, it's right up my street. Um, 
so I need to make a really good manifesto for that and hopefully not too many people go for it <laughs> um, I really I really like to get it and I also need to redo my CV as um, at the moment all I have is my past um, hospitality CV and that is really not what I want to be focusing on for the future as I probably already mentioned before I'm trying to focus on getting internships or getting something in social media marketing um, something actually more to do with what I want to do so I need to redo my CV make it more relevant make it better because the last few CVs have been absolutely crap if I'm honest I haven't tried so CV manifesto and assessment so those are my three main goals at the moment and then apparently TikTok now takes up a lot of my life so I've been planning out um, some videos I want to do writing down the ideas that I can shoot them all in one go and be more time efficient because I end up wasting so much time trying to do them um, and um, obviously vlogging so it's uh, how many platforms can row the juggle at a single time while still successfully not failing. <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a life update. As you can probably tell, I'm sounding a lot better now. Back from my walk, I've just changed back into my sunbathing outfit because I mean, I love my Tala, but it's not great for sunbathing, <laughs> it's quite thick. So, I'm gonna go take myself out into the sun and start some studying. So attempts at focusing on studies have been thwarted by helping out with some lunch preparation. Mum's making pasta. Um, I tend to cook more, but um, she's cooking today, so we're gonna have some pasta in the garden. A glass of wine, because why the hell not? I mean, we're all drinking these days, aren't we? Yeah, I've managed to, I don't know if you can see, I originally had 10 questions to start to choose from for one of my essays and I've narrowed it down to three now um, so I've got these three to pick from and um, I think I'm going to do Balzac's Le Père, uh, Le Père Goriot as my book as I really feel like I had a lot to say about that um, and then I'm going to attempt to do this essay at some point um, but I've just got to choose out of one of those three. Oddly enough, now that I know that all our summatives have been turned into formatives, I now have the focus, well maybe not focus, but the motivation to do some of it. Here we find the wild sinner coming in from his adventures. Yeah, I'm bored. He's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he?
after taking a break to have some lunch in the garden as you can see i've changed it got a bit chilly as um the shade started moving in and i did some washing up and um now i'm back in my room and now the sun's moved around and um, i'm gonna try and be a bit more productive but we'll see i've got really bad cramps right now um so i am just digging into some dark chocolate Mm, so good. But, so I'm just gonna attempt to focus, but take it easy because I'm in pain. May or may not train pole today. I feel like it might not happen as I just don't feel very good. And then um, probably spend the evening with my mum. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me. Um, if this is entertaining at all while we're in lockdown. Um, or there's any particular part of lockdown you'd like to see from my end of thing. I, I always reply to comments, so please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you're thinking. Stay safe, stay home, keep up the kindness, my friends.